It was not a country where being an activist was easy. Speaking out was not welcome, was not encouraged. It was not done. It was, the Sierra Club's Michael McCloskey said, the only highly developed, prosperous country that didn't have a national environmental movement of any strength. That is why what Yuichi Kuroda has done in the country of Japan is all the more impressive. Although Japan has made progress in reducing air pollution and industrial waste and increasing energy efficiency, it is what Japanese interests have been doing outside their country's borders that concerns environmentalists. And that is the logging, importing, and consumption of tropical hardwood. In the last 20 years, most of the rainforests in Thailand and the Philippines have been destroyed. And now the destruction of the rainforests in Malaysia is increasing every day. In these last 20 years, Japan has become the world's number one importer of tropical timber. Mahogany, rosewood, and ebony for furniture, pianos, interiors, and altars, as one may imagine. But what seems impossible to imagine is that so much tropical timber is made into plywood for construction companies to use as temporary molds in pouring concrete. What Yuichi Kuroda realized was that if Japan continued to import timber at the same rate, most of the remaining forests in Southeast Asia would be gone in another 20 to 30 years. Forests that function to regulate climate, control floods, produce oxygen, prevent soil erosion, forests that are the source of life-saving medicines. And they have been home to indigenous peoples for centuries. Yoichi Kuroda had been a university student of rural sociology and later became active in research and organization for environmental groups concerned about pesticides. Then, in 1987, he became the coordinator of a coalition of 12 environmental groups and hundreds of individuals known as the Japan Tropical Forest Action Network, JATAN, which has used research and education to conduct and publicize campaigns about the rainforest. Also, highly unusual for Japan, Yoichi Kuroda and the network lobbied and demonstrated challenging Japanese trading companies for their responsibility in the destruction of the rainforests. During this time, a book Kuroda co-authored, Timber from the South Seas, presented the first comprehensive documentation of what Japan's timber consumption was doing to the rainforests. More than that, this book and Kuroda's personal leadership has shown an alternative positive environmental role that can be played by his country. He has met with the presidents of major corporations and brought together rainforest inhabitants and Japanese decision makers, environmental groups and trading companies, and through the Jatan network has stimulated a national debate about the responsibilities of the Japanese government and the ethics of Japanese corporations. As an activist in unsympathetic surroundings and as a pioneer against heavy odds, Yoichi Kuroda has seen the Jatan network influence foreign policy bring apologies from the government to indigenous peoples, and persuade Japanese corporations to attempt to reduce their imports of tropical timber. So now is the time for the Japanese people to understand the, uh, the consequence of the, the Japanese uh, people's way of life. For outstanding environmental achievement in Asia, a 1991 Goldman Environmental Prize is awarded to Yoichi Kuroda of Tokyo, Japan.